so. Super Mario Land 2 Deluxe. Let's do the Luigi. We should be pretty good on audio levels. Oh no, it's a little loud. Yeah, it's still a little loud. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. So, I have a good amount of history with this game. I never actually owned it, but I had a friend who lived upstairs for me in the apartment complex that I grew up in. And he owned it, and so naturally through him I ended up playing a ton of this game. And... Um, fun fact, I never actually beat it. I played a ton of it, but I always got to the final stage and never completed it all on my own. Still a little tiny bit loud. Let's do that. So. Um, this is one of those games that always puts me in a happy place. So it looks like Luigi... He jumped a little higher than Mario. He does have a little bit of the slippery quality that... I guess Luigi does in some of the other games. Interesting, okay. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun little spin on the Mario Land 2 that I know and love. But yeah, my friend Chris owned this. Actually, I'm pretty sure everybody I knew owned this. Except for me. So, I love this game to death, and it wasn't until I got the 3DS and could download it for the 3DS Virtual Console when I actually owned it myself. Owned being the operative word. That's how you do that. Okay. You hold down and then you jump. So, I've been wanting to get back to this game for a while, and I figured this would be a very easy one to get back to. And they've done a ton of bug fixes on this over the last several months, and initially this came out back in January. But it looks like they've fixed a lot of the really frightening issues that have occurred with this. So. But it looks gorgeous. And it makes it all that much more sad that it didn't actually come out in this form back in the day. Okay, where are we going first? Um... I know that's just for this. So I probably won't do too much of this. Turtle Zone? Yeah, I guess we'll do Turtle Zone first. Turtle Zone it is. But I always really loved this game because it had such an odd flavor to it that I hadn't really seen it in a Mario game at this point. Like, I mean, Mario games are weird. It's, they're just weird. It's like, it's, it's in their DNA. Um, but... Like, once I saw the Mario Zone in this, I'm like, okay, let, I've, never, I've never gone inside a giant mechanical Mario before. I guess that's interesting. Like, that always stuck with me, and I always thought it's really strange that they just kind of chose to forget that this game even existed. Like, it wasn't important. Like, it wasn't important in, like, the Nintendo canon. It wasn't important in the Mario canon. And I don't really know why. But the music's great, the gameplay is sharp. Like, and especially making it in color, like, just makes everything pop so much more, too. It's a fucking great game. 
I mean, that's all I really have to say about it. It's like, I could, I could analyze it to death, but what it really comes down to is it's just a fucking great game. Oh, it looks like Luigi can actually get up here. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, this a secret exit? Uh, I guess not, it was just the regular exit. Welcome to the submarine level. Hmm. Hmm. You have like the punch sharks. And you have Gordos for whatever reason. They're just here. Making a cameo appearance. Oh no. Oh. Gordo stress creeping in. But one memory that sticks out of my mind with this too is oh great, cool. That's that's fucking great. Um The concept of Wario being the villain in this always seemed kind of strange because I actually like damn it! So Wario, like I played, uh, I played Wario Lands 2 right around the time when I was playing this also, and I didn't really understand like sort of the story elements of this in regards to Wario yet. Like I found out that Wario was the final boss like way late somehow. And so when I found that out, I'm like, wait a minute, Wario's the hero of his own game. Like, why is he the why is he the enemy? And then I found out it's because Wario's a dick. Just a giant, a giant sweaty dick. It's kind of a long level. Do I want to go the long way? Oh, I can't go the long way. Okay. Hmm. What? Do I chance it? No! Oh, God! Well, at least I got... At least we got this. Almost lost another life. Go. What's through here? Anything through here? Is, is is there anything? Is, was this a complete waste of time? That it was it was a total waste of time. Great. Go right down here. Oh, cool. Can can I get up there? Can I can may I may I please may I, may I, may I, may I, may I, may I? Oh, you cock tease. Not the pipe maze, not the pipe maze, please!
Okay, well, I made it through. Um, good, cool. <laughs> Oh, more! Sweet! I'm getting all the coins. Way more than six golden coins. Um... Oh, come on! That wasn't fair. This is also unfair. Just slightly, just ever so slightly. Luigi! Like, it actually occurred to me, like, if I'm gonna be playing the DX version of this, why wouldn't I play as Luigi? He's the new feature. We all know Mario. Ew. Oh, that's right. Gut air is poisonous to Goombas. It's canon. Ew. <laughs> this is... This is, like, more uncomfortable than it should be. This is like Jabu Jabu's belly. So is this why Nintendo wants to forget about this game? This is like too pornographic for Mario. Hey, did Koji Kondo do this soundtrack? Did Koji Kondo do, do the soundtrack on Mushrooms? No, no, go away, I just got this, please. made it. Here's the dude. Oh, this is gonna suck. I mean, it, it could be worse, I suppose. What? I won. I'm the winner. I received one of the six golden coins. Okay, what next? Um, we can go to the Mario Zone. I don't even know. I don't even know, sir. Let's go to the let's go to the tree zone. It's, it's almost like the game tries to guide you toward the tree zone. So let's do what the game wants us to do and listen to this one just delightful music. Do not do that to me, Block. What the hell even are you? I just love all like the, just the strange potpourri of enemies in this game too. 
Like you have your Goombas and your Koopas, then your Frog, and your whatever the fuck that armadillo thing is, that armadillo bug thing is that starts to flicker and then turns into Rolly Bug. <laughs> Looks like an anteater. What are you? Oh, these blocks are killing me. You know the thought that I just had? And it's a thought that keeps coming across my mind. Is that at some point in the coming months I'm probably going to stream Glover. I don't know why. I don't know why I want to stream Glover. Every time I try to play it again, I'm like, oh, I, I, I kind of want to play Glover. Glover's fun. And then I play Glover, I'm like, Glover's kind of fun, but not really. <laughs> but I think I might stream Glover. And if you've never played Glover, don't worry, I'll play it for you. It's another one of those Me Too platformers from the mid-90s. It's not a bad game, it's actually a pretty- f it's a pretty fun game. But it's so goddamn frustrating at times. Because... If- That is a cowfish. If you've ever tried to control a glove, controlling a ball, controlling a series of balls, in a 3D space, in a 3D engine from the 90s, then you would understand. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck, man? Why? I feel, why, why cowfish? I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. That's super, that's super cool. You look like a bug with a dog ball launcher on your back. So yeah, I'll probably play Glover, and there will probably be some streams where I start laughing because I'm sucking so bad at it. And yeah, that's just how you are a bomb bug. I understand now. And I'm dead. That's- that's super cool. Yep, great. Well, at least I got the midway. What is- what's down here? Are there secrets? I found the secret. Okay. I'm guessing this is going to take me to a secret exit. So this is like a completely different area. Weege. Weege is- we, he's got the hops. Not only is he Luigi, he's also a bunny. Oh, I guess not. I guess it just took me on an alternate path. That's cool. Take all the lives I can get, thank you. Knowing me, this will be a dramatic failure. Uh, which way do I want to go? Do I want to go to Antland or Bee Land? I'm going to Bee Land first. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Yeah, 
looks like we have some some slight graphical fuckery going on here. The bees aren't quite whole. Well, skull bee looks completely fine. Dry bee, is that what you- Swamp <laughs> bee. Hey look, the bees all have their own subset of enemies based on the Mario canon. Drabby. They call me Drabby because I'm drier than a dry ball. What the fuck is a dry ball? Piranha plants. Taking it. Taking it to the house. Okay, I'll become a rabbit, yet again. I'll do the ant zone too, just for the sake of completing my way through. Yeah, it seems like some levels are a little bit more... ...complete color-wise than others. That's, that's fine. Very mild for the trees. Not an oversaturated green. Actually, I kind of appreciate that. They could have gone full balls out with it, but... I feel like I'm going to fall into a pit. <laughs> I'm alive. in the background that are ever so slightly out of tune. Oh, that works. Need them coins. But I don't want to fall into a pit again. I don't want to get shaped by a freaking one-up that I couldn't even get. That's stupid. Okay, now we'll take on Crow Dude. Or, or, or Toucan? Something? Oh, it's one of these. Sleepy Owl. Thank you, Sleepy Owl platform. Sleepy Owl friend platform. Crazy person. Yes, give me rapid Luigi. Oh, I wonder 
if I can get up there. Oh, I can't, I would just go through the pipe. <laughs> Jerk. Hey, look, it's a staircase full of jerks. No, it's this guy. This guy's super easy. Oops. Is it just me or is he just kind of desaturated? Just, just ever so slightly. No challenge. That's knocked out. We have some other extra levels. Let's see. That takes us up to the space area. I'm not going to do that this stream. We'll do this guy. Auto scroller. Fidgy's back. Oh, hello. Probably gonna do one more little world here and then call it a night. After I do this little auto scroller level. No! <laughs> Thanks, world, for squishing me. So, yep, yeah, this is Mario Land 2 Deluxe. is a ton of fun. I'm almost kind of wishing I just did this as a one-off. But it's fine. It'll be a two-off. We'll do half the worlds in one stream. We'll do the other half of the worlds in another stream. No! Again? And I say one-off because I could very easily finish this entire game in one sitting, in one stream if I wanted to, but the big caveat is that's also assuming that I could do the final level without dying too many times. But... I think it's most sensible for the way that I stream my games to just do it do in the two-off format. It 
so... Either way, it's fun. One of these days, I may do the original Mario Land all in one stream. That'd be a lot of fun to try. Okay, what's what, what, what was the point of that? What, huh? Invisibility at the very, very end? That's silly. No, I don't want to go to Space World. Space World is for next time. So, what's, what's the world that I'm doing last? Um... I think... Do I want to do Mario Zone? I think that's... That's good next stream material, too. Pumpkin Zone. I don't think I'll do the Macro Zone. Macro Zone. We'll get this out of the way. Good. The Macro Zone. So this is... I played the Macro Zone last time. The last time I attempted to stream this game, once I got to the Macro Zone, the whole game glitched up on me. I just couldn't progress any further. Well, I could. The game was still playable, but graphically, it completely shit the bed. And that's just due to this being a full-scale ROM hack and being a full-scale graphical ROM hack. Some things don't go as planned. Go in the pipe. Thank you. Don't touch. Actually, maybe we'll do this. We'll do this instead. There we go. Also, I forgot to do something. Yep. Change my sink here. Boom. Even better. Bam! No! God, son of a- ugh. That's a- that's a, that's a little bit better. I do, I do like that. I don't know why I don't remember the lava in the macro zone, but apparently it was here the whole time. See, that's how you get up there. Okay. Oh, but I can't get up there, up there. Okay. Cool. Fire flower. Okay, whatever. Green facing beetle, friend. Fourth wall breaking beetle. I'm going 
going to murder everything. Never mind. Oh no, he's an angry friend. <laughs> you can see you can see the piranha, you can see him going down. I'll take it. Two. Three. Two more. Give me that extra life. I didn't I didn't earn it. I earned nothing. What you guys are so weird. Going up this way and up to the fire flower. Murder, murder, murder. No more murder. No more murder. Just flight. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to lead to some inadvertent loss of things. Things will be lost. Belongings of Luigi. Oh no, I should have kept that. I should have kept that fire flower. Oh, wait. I think I can. I cannot. It does not work that way. Thank you for the one-ups! Oh boy. I'm gonna get you! Ooh, I got one. Oh, I got one and all. That's something. That's something, right? Please tell me it's something. I'm a rabbit again! I must not get cooked. I'm not a juicy rabbit, I'm, I'm Luigi. This is the prequel to Luigi's Mansion. This is how I won the mansion. Okay, here's the last, this will be the last level here. And this should be a good stopping point after this. Not a terribly long game. Which is probably why I should have done it as a one-off, but I just felt like playing it today. But I also felt like playing Golden Sun. I really should get more Mario games on here now. Well, especially now that Nintendo's lightened up on their freaking monetization stuff. Um, it's 
one game that I am actually planning on streaming at some point in the next year. I mean, I'm kind of holding off on it. We're gonna we're gonna wait until we're gonna wait until E3 comes, and there's a very specific reason for it. So we're we're getting close to the five-year anniversary of a specific Mario game that I really really love. And if it receives a port, then I'm going to buy the port and stream it. And that is Super Mario 3D World. Oh fuck. If it doesn't receive a port, then I'm just going to stream the Wii U version. And if I can sucker somebody into playing it with me, then that'll be even better, seeing as it's a multiplayer game. But it's also possible that I will play parts of it with another person. Or, what I might plan is get a different person to come play it with me each time. Wouldn't that be a fun? They could just be Sean and friends play Super Mario 3D World. Oh man. Ah, oh, damn it. Gotcha. Three coins. Okay. That is a good stopping point. So. Um, yeah. Super Mario Land 2 DX! Looks beautiful. This is a very, very, very beautiful ROM hack. Very, very beautiful conversion. I'm, I'm very impressed, so. Um, I will return and finish the second half of this probably next week. I'll probably stick it alongside another game. Make that my plan. But yeah, so... I'm calling this the end. This is the end of the stream right here, so... Anyway, guys...